video bros. Alright guys, welcome back to video bros. We're hovering over the sea line, ready to <laughs> leave. The sea line is a ship we're about to explore. And by explore, I mean I accidentally already explored it, trying to farm uh, levels for a session. But you'll still see us exploring through it, just we're not picking up items. Um, so welcome back, people. We still have a few videos left to upload for the re previous session, which is session 4. But, um... There's only gonna be, like, one more session or two after this game, because this game's pretty short. Like, most of them. Um... And we're not going... Oh yeah, I forgot, I'm strong enough to kill those guys when we're hit now. We're not going to be... Um, using this file to 100% the game to get all the endings and all the stuff. Um, because we can't. I fucked up. Oh, I think I thought you did. I in another file I made that was a backup file to my original playthrough. Okay. Which is before you go to the place where it's all those things like, oh, if you go here once, you can't turn back and go back and wherever. So it's like I made a backup file of that, which was before I originally beat the game. And then I did all the side stuff, so I 100%ed everything in that file, even missions that didn't relate to getting all the endings. So in that file, we will be showing off all the endings from there when we get up towards the end of the game in this file. Um, but so here we're just going to be playing the game straight, not doing any side stuff for that. And we're about to fight a boss. I knew you'd come after the war, Apple. Sir Gigi the Transcendent has already informed us of your plan. Our intelligence indicates that you may defeat me, Deep. And then maybe go on to Mars in the Northeast to claim yet another Apple. But let it be known that, um, if you fell me, nor take my place. The might of the Transcendent is one, it is approaching infinity itself. Can't talk to it. So how do you like them apples? After this fight, you go to Mars. After that, you go to Earth. After that, then you can do whatever you want, unless you want to go right to the end game. So we're very, very close to the end. Alright. By the way, I figured out a way for Linovar to be cured of Berserk, but it involves reviving him if he were to die, or using a certain PSI move on him for healing, which I don't think we have yet. So this is the second fight with Captain Deep Sea. After this, then we are able to get permits to land on Mars. Yeah, you need a special pass to land on Mars. Alright, then... I'm gonna charge the laser on the I'm gonna fire my laser, I guess. Um... I played a bit of God of War before this session. Jeff knows, he was here for it. Um... I recommend it. It is pretty damn good, as they say it is. You you know that. Yeah. From what you were watching me play a bit of it. I've heard I've heard good things about it, but after seeing like I, I didn't really like see much gameplay of it because I was like I was like you know I don't like watch gameplay unless I'm like super super interested. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not interested in um. Wait, a future bright and alive awaits no one in this time. To exist happily through time, it must surely flow backward. There is a chance of one in a shell who must become life's messenger. And we got the apple of summer. Now what we can do... Remember that useful technique? Yes. So helpful. Um... You were saying about God of War? Like, I'm not, like, there's certain games where I'm, like, I'm, like, super interested in watching gameplay footage of. There's some games I just don't want to be spoiled of. And God of War was, like, one of the, one of the uh, most anticipated PS4 games to come out this, this year. And there's only, like, there's only a couple games that I'm actually interested in getting this year, which was God of War. There's a lot for me, dude, including God of War. What are you interested in? If it comes out this year, Metro Prime 4, well, you yeah. probably were able to Well, yeah, but I'm not PS4 games. I'm talking about everything. Oh, I found a present. Um, if it comes out this year, although people are speculating also early 2019, uh, Pokemon Switch, Smash 4, 
Smash 5. Well, yeah, definitely Smash 5. Smash 5. Whatever it's gonna be called. Um... Shit, there's the Luigi's Mansion remake. Um, I'm not, I'm not as excited for it, but I'll still play it just because. Why not? Yeah. Give me an excuse to pick my 3DS up again. Where the fuck is Mars, dude? We're going Mars, dude. You should video me right now doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the Family Guy clip in there instead. Okay. It's probably funnier than me, anyway. I know, like, the map system for this game, um, I have a screenshot of it on my phone, because there's no map here, you do unlock that as an upgrade, though, but we do not have it in-game yet. You get that on some other planet, I believe. But we're using a- oh my fucking gas. Eat Taco Bell and you'll get more gas. Ha 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 ha, Jeff. I'm trying to find it. No, but like for the PS4 though, the games that I'm that I'm actually looking forward to for the PS4 is to play God of War once I get my PS4 Pro hooked up. I just bought one today. Yeah, we just came back from game subject, just bought a PS4 Pro for himself. So I'm gonna figure out what I want to do with my PS4 though. That way he has more storage, which I'll I might invest. Not in. even that though. It's you know it's it's, it's helpful in, in in a lot of situations. But I have I could also have the what do you call it the um PlayStation VR. And I wanted to pick up Rick and, Rick and Morty, but I want to pick up for that also. That comes out on the 24th of April. I don't even know if any people are really as excited for that as, say, for, like, God of War. No, they're not. Or but, other games. But, because people, people trashed, people trashed it when, it when when they heard the announcement of it, and they were like, this already came out years of, a, a year ago on, P on PC, why is everyone getting... Why is everyone going ape shit? Like, not ape shit, but like, going crazy to come out of PlayStation VR. And I was like, because it's more convenient, more people have PlayStation VR than they do, they do, um, like the, the, play, the uh, HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. Cause those cost too much more, way too much money. <laughs> but you know they're better, and I, and I understand that. The PlayStation VR is, is like, is like perfect for the price point. And the PS4 Pro helped with that. Helps helps make make it play better, and also you know the storage and, and the graphics, of course. And also, there's a thing that um, what do you call it? That that the PS4 Pro has. We're back. So um, there's a thing now on the PS4 Pro with the 5.0 update or whatever it was, or the one that just recently came out. Not like the newest newest one, but the, like the biggest major update. Um, they had boost mode, which um uses the extra power of the PS4 Pro for games that don't support the PS4 Pro like in like in, in enhanced mode where they have better graphics and whatnot. Games that not all games not game all, not all games support it, but it's a universal like fix per se. To Ooh. fix games that, that are lagging and it'll give oh, games fuck. it'll give games games that, that will work for it. There's like a, a there's no there's no specific list of what games do work and what games don't work for it. But games that do work for it It'll use the extra power of the PS4 Pro, so say if like, say if like you play the game like, I don't know, um, maybe, uh, let me go, uh, I can example Infamous Second Son. Yeah, oh man, I'm, I'm picturing how that would work. That's, that, does, that doesn't, that doesn't give you any, I don't know if that, that gives you, what do you call it? I don't know either, because that's a relatively older game, that was one of the first PS4 Yeah, but some games, game, some games get updated though for the PS4 Pro support. Yeah, I'm not sure if that does. I don't, I don't know if that game does though, because I have, I have First Light. Northeasterly. I have First Light, and First Light had the option to unlock the frame rate on it, so I'm not sure. You know what does have Pro support though? What? The, um, The Last of Us. Really? Yeah. I, I believe that actually. You know what? Even though that game came out like right when the PS4 launched, like probably like like a, like a year after, um, or something like that, whenever it came out, it it got an update for it. So, but like, put it this way: any game that that doesn't run that doesn't run well on the PS4 that has like frame rate drops and whatnot, or tearing or whatnot, it'll, it'll or whatever whatever problem that it, that exists on the system that can't be fixed through a patch, or whatever, because of the PS4 low um. PS, the, the base PS4 with low um, graphical capabilities in the, CP, in the CPU and GPU in there. The PS4 Pro, the boost mode, which is universally was a universal fix. I caught a spaceship fish. 
I love our third back because no one really needs a space fish. <laughs> what? The floating teapot has a note attached to the bottom. Reading, please return to Russell if um, it's a little too big to fit on the ship. Okay, why? Why is that? Okay. Um, okay then. But the boost mode allows allows game those kind of games that don't that don't run pro that don't run optimally on the system to run better. If 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 it, if it, if it works that game, because it's a universal fix by Sony, not by the game, that might not by the um the developer of the, of the specific game itself. Also, the PS4 Pro. Oh, here it is, Mars. Allows for super sampling, super su sub sampling on all games now. So any game that you want to that doesn't support PS4 Pro enhancement games per se, or they they do. I'll let you go first. Meanwhile. Oh, Mew now, I guess. Okay. Who has lost his tail? King. Uh, oh, I gotta, I gotta go here. The guy just looks like... Welcome back, Mew. I hope you've been doing well. He looks like that guy from... Um, you, ever, you ever see the Dilbert comics? Yes. He looks like that guy that works with him. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Mew, good to see you again. We haven't seen anybody for quite a long time now. Everything is going fine here. Do you start to calm down too? <laughs> you continue. So, and then they have the PS4 Pro also has subsampling for all games now. So say if like, say if you're running a game on your um your 4K monitor, right? Or like or a game that supports the PS4 Pro, but you don't have but you don't have a 4K TV or a 4K monitor. What it will do is it'll it'll render the game at at 4K. And then and then downsample it to 1080p, so it's not native 1080p. It's it's like an enhanced 1080p, so the game will look better. But it's not like going up from like like put it this way. It's like putting anti-aliasing, meaning removing jagged edges and all this shit stuff. Yeah. And all that, and it makes the it makes, it makes basically the PS4 Pro does what the Xbox One X can't do because it doesn't give super sampling and whatnot. It just runs the game at the rate native resolution. That was a gray face. I don't know what he's doing there, but whatever. Um, is that a Lenovar? I think that's a Lenovar. I don't want to go on this mission anymore. I'm in a band now, remember? <laughs> I wish I could fly like Gigu Ding. You just got a... Is that a hook on there? That's a balloon. Yeah, well, it's the thing that's... It, that's, it looks like a hook on the balloon. It does. It's so weird. Hey, that's Elmadon. That... Uh, okay. I want to help, but I'm too useless. <laughs> Alright. Well, if that was useless for me to talk to you, I'll tell you that much. You know what? I'm actually going to look up games that support the PS4 Pro. Yeah, because I want to know. I know Horizon Zero Dawn. Crash that game I actually want to fucking feature. play. I want to play uh, that game. Dude, look. No, that can't happen. That 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 can't happen. It's a fan game. It can't happen. Chapter four end. Would you like to save? Yes. No. Why not? That's you know that's the stupidest thing everyone is like at when it when it. Chapter five. The forgotten. When when like a game asks you, like n not like you do it on purposely, but like when you when you get to a check a major point in the game, it's like do you want to save at this point? Like why wouldn't you? Exactly. Okay, I'm. Right. So now we're on Mars, as indicated as before. This is one of the last few places we have to visit before we ultimately fight Gigu, which might be tonight. You never know. I mean, wait. Oh, I remember these guys have such weird jokes. Look at this. It's a skeleton of a cow. Yeah, I'm a pile of bones. Whose bones? Cow's bones. <laughs> This game is so weird. And I love it. I asked Steffi Game Crew in their live stream the other night if like they played this game, and surprisingly they have not played it yet, even though Cameron loved the shit out of and played the other games. So, um Spaceship Fuel. He's like, No, I have not played it yet. These are all the games that are supported for the PS4 Pro. There's like a whole list of them. Yeah. Um some new games I've never I've never played or don't care to play. But apparently, I did not know that the that the Assassin's Creed Ezio collection was for the PS4. 
Didn't know that either. I thought it was, can my sister had it for the Xbox 360. I don't have much money, so I can't do that. Um, Battlefield 1 supports it. I'm just going with, like, games that people would, like, automatically, automatically know. Um, I don't know. Actually, I'm just going to write it down. Accessing city records. Chaos 34190X. All is well in the Martian city of Cydonia. Rumors of alien attack go unfounded. Earthwatch. The humans are spreading across the planet and founding plenty of cities and developing new technologies. Um, Chaos 66. Cydonia citizens in unrest due to increasing tension between Mars and Jupiter. Odd ships sighted in the sky assumed to be of Jupiter origin. Earthwatch. The lights of presumed Jupiter origin have been sighted on Earth as well. Humans discount them as a hoax. Sounds like Alex Jones. Discord 2, 190X. Ships in the sky proven to be of extrasolar origin, capable of interstellar travel. Earthwatch. Stories of alien abduction are beginning to be heard. Still discounted as hoaxes. And here's a hyperpod I can use, but I don't really need it right now, so. And you can read the list of games. I'm just gonna. Well, I want to see if there's an updated, an, an updated, updated one. Because it says like 2018. Here we go. There's a whole side base here that's really you got to be very high level to beat. I've beaten it in, in um my file I'm gonna be using for the endings here, and holy shit, it's crazy! And you fight a giant Mr. Saturn at the end of it. Really? And he looks like freaking psychotic. Balloon grid. Um. So here's a, here's a list of all the games up to date. Wait, I want to read you this joke. Were the cows on Mars? Yep, they all and. They'll up and move to Earth, though. No, you need you need um what what are those things called? Those um fucking fuzzy frog? No, those um fuzzy frog. No, no the fuzzy. things the things. No, same with the shirt. Oh, it's a fuzzy frog. What are those things called? The fucking the cow the cow beetles from Futurama. Oh yeah. Whatever the hell the names are. I know what you're talking about. I just don't remember what they were called. God, I miss that show so much. So do I. Scrap um, metal. So, um, here's, here's a list of games. Um, I've never heard of this one. A, B, Z, U. I don't know about that game either, to be honest. Arizona Sunshine. Never played it. Dark Survival. Never played it. Assassin's Creed Origin, of course. Well, yeah. Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered. Crazy Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Never played that. Um... I heard the game was pretty good, but I have, you know, mixed things. And then Assassin's Creed, the Axio Collection, Batman Arkham VR. Damn, I forgot about that. That was a thing. Batman Ar Return to Arkham. You know what's so weird? They, what? Ubisoft does not bother making any updates to fix the PC versions of any of their Batman Arkham games, but they'll instead focus on just making DLC. It makes no sense. Then it's like, oh, we're not going to fix any problems with it, even though you spent the money already. We're just going to focus on making DLC for the game. How, what kind of bullshit is that? Eh, that is bullshit. Um. Um. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to equip that. Um. I never played Battleborn. I don't know anything about the game. To be honest. No. Battlefield One. I only know the name of the game. I never played it in my life. Alright. Ooh, there's another present. I think that's a record. Yep. Aria of... I couldn't read that. Um... Discord 44. Ceasefire with Jupiter Pass. They were all telling the truth after all. Earthwatch sensors malfunctioning. Key officials have gone missing from our government of offices. Extra solar energy suspected at fault. Earthwatch sensors malfunctioning. Extra solar entities have revealed themselves. War is declared. Several Martian cities fall. They have superior PSI. Earthwatch is being shut down to divert more energy toward the war effort. Okay. Oh, first light, first light attack is not have PS4 Pro support. Seriously? Well, you know what? It should. I mean, it was one of the first few games to come out on the PS4. You give it some. Like, <gasps> Yo, screen. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 Remix have PS4 su Pro support. Figured. Now I can actually play this game and make it, this is gonna work out awesome now. I have that game actually. I have the 1.5, 2.5 meter your mix. So do I. I have I have both, but I have I also have the PS3 version they're, also. They were individual on the PS3, but on the PS4 they're released all together on one disc. Yeah. So you get like six games in one. Wait. 
I know this place, Beep. This is the Cydonia supercomputer. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.